the Lord Mould May Memorial Chase. A zero to one forty two mile one furlong. Big field over the two mile. Always has the most horses. You the one up the top for Ghost Zappers, Tower Heist, Quavers, Magic Bullet, Henry Hill, Reluctance, Bowl and Soggy, Twelve Oaks, Sally James, Bonfire Yodo, Miller's Mate, Unlimited Power, Robin Clapham Board, Bound and Gag, Five to Two Favourite, Pictures at Eleven for Martin Leadham, Middleton Sunrise, New Coos, Javuil, uh, Firth of Fourth, Pinu Donna Highest, Phillipstown, Hogmanay, Arno, ah, no, and Phillipstown Sphinx for Darren Howes, number 24. Racing. They come to the first. And both of John's horses have clipped out to the lead here for five greys in the race. Four of them come from two stables. John Morgan and David Robinson. And I think Martin has the fifth one, which is the favourite. Pardon me, and we've lost one. Henry Hill's out of the race, so bad luck, Stu. Going out early like that. Oh, and another one's fallen heavily there. Miller's mate, so Kevin's lost one as well. So both Kevin and uh, Stu are out of the race. I can't see a second runner from either. So go over the water, so that's always a safe jump. So the pace is pretty... Pretty uh, sprightly, quite sprightly. So it's 12 oaks from Reluctant and Middleton Sunrise. You the one magic bullet, the favourite going out there in the purple. And that is pictures at 11. Ah, no, magic bullet, tower heist, job wheel. Robin clapper boys, they come to the next. And we've lost another there. Bonfire Yoto is out of the race. Darren Thompson's horse, I think. So that's bad luck there. As they round this bend here, and there's a mile left to run. And they're spread right out. Probably about 15 lengths first to last. So the back markers will probably want to start getting a move along here. This track seems fairly tight and turning. Expect the winner to come from the first half, so it's 12 Oaks and Reluctant running together. They take the next. Oh, we crashed through it there, Reluctant, and lost a couple of lengths. Robin Clapperboard moves up into second. The favourite's going nicely. Pictures at 11 at the 5 furlong. Robin Clapperboard crashed through that. Moving in the second tower heist here, so the two big trainers are one and two, 12 Oaks and Tower Heist. So they go over this ditch. And uh, third Robin Clapperboard pictures at 11 out wider, getting along the fence, reluctance with a second win. Mid Middleton Sunrise bound and gagged at the three furlong Hogwane as they go over the water. And I don't think the tail markers can win from here, so it's 12 Oaks. Running like a winner as it comes on down to the two furlong pole. Looks like there's two more to get over. And the second last should be coming up any moment now. And they come to it and up and over they go. Uh, who else? What's going on here? Getting through Robin Clapper board. Nuke Hoos bound and gag. They're flying now. They come on down to the last. And uh, jumped it okay, 12 hopes. It's holding on from Nuke Hoos. Unlimited power out wide, running home quickly. They hit the line, and I reckon 12 Oaks may have held on from unlimited power. We'll need to see the official card because it's quite tight on the line. So the three big jumps trainers, first, second, third. Just check and see if it's a dead heat or an outright win. 
And it stayed on Grimley, 12 Oaks. Congratulations, Go Sapper Stable. Second unlimited power that's come from a long way back, Joshua Sutherland. Third, Tower Heist, Paul Rhodes. Fourth, Nuke Who, Smiley at Surfer. And fifth was Robin Clapperboard for Pontypool Racing.